Hey everyone, welcome to this full body class where we will be doing half of the workout on the mat and half the workout up and standing. So today we're gonna to be using a squishy ball. I have um, this one here that has some give to it. You don't want, if it's possible with your balls, if you can give um, a little of the air out so it has a little bit of give to it, that's what would be preferred, but obviously use what you have. So um, if you don't have your ball already, go ahead and grab your ball now. And I do want you to place it at the end of your mat where your feet are gonna be, because eventually we are gonna come up to a um, standing position and that'll be a good place for that. But for right now, I want you to go ahead and come into all fours, so on your hands and knees. So go ahead and have those wrists right under the shoulders and the knees right under the hips. And we're just gonna start with some cat and cow. So we're gonna take an inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. And then we exhale to round the spine, tuck that tailbone under and drop the head. So just warming up the spine and the body here, inhaling to expand, shoulders back and down. Think of those shoulder blades drawing together and then exhale round, tuck that tailbone under, lift the belly button up. Okay, let's do a few more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Really tight, trying to expand the lungs fully on your inhale. And then exhaling all that air out on your exhale. Good, one more. And exhale to round. Now we're gonna move into some bigger full body rolls here. So we're trying to move the whole torso into a nice big circle. So just make this feel good. So you'll end up moving to the side a little bit, not just up and down into that cat cow, but incorporating all those spinal movements extension, flexion, and some side bending as well. Do one more in this direction. And then go ahead and reverse those circles other way. Good, couple more. Last one. All right, bring it back to that neutral spine now. And we're just gonna get some wrist stretches. So I want you to go ahead and turn your wrists so the fingers are facing towards you, wrists are facing away from your body. And just start to sit back into your heels and then go ahead and come out of it and come back forward. So go ahead and lean it back, just gently keep the palm of the hand pressing into your mat. So you're getting that stretch in that forearm. Good, and bring it forward. Good, just a few more. Good, two. And last one, good. Bring it back and then back forward. All right, go ahead and come off the wrist for a moment and just do some wrist rolls. We're gonna do a little bit um, more on the hands here, so just warming up those wrists, stretching out those muscles. Go ahead and reverse the direction. All right, and then we'll go ahead and come back into all fours. We're gonna move from um, a child's pose into an upward facing dog, and then we're gonna repeat that motion. So I want you to have your knees um, slightly wider than hip distance, still parallel. And I want you to go ahead and send your hips back towards your heels in that child's pose. So this is gonna be your exhale here. Then on your inhale, go ahead and start to wave your spine forward until the chest comes through the arms, you're gonna lift the knees off the mat until you're in this upward facing dog. So roll the shoulders back and down, lift that heart and chest. Good, drop the knees, pull the hips back, pull the belly back, and we exhale back into child's pose. Inhale, bring it forward. Good, and lift. Exhale. Pull it back. Good, inhale, send it forward. Good, two more. Good, inhale forward. 
again, last one, exhale, pull it back. Good, and then come back into that all fours position. Now from here, we're gonna move into plank into a downward dog. We're gonna do that same sort of motion moving forward and back. So when you're ready, start to uh, tuck those toes under, lift the knees off the mat into that plank position. We won't be here, be here long. So I want you to take your exhale as you start to lift the hips, drop the heels into your downward dog. Inhale as you roll that spine forward into plank. Good, exhale again, lift the hips, drop the heels. Good, and then bring it back forward, inhale. Exhale, chest towards thighs, shoulders are away from the ears. Good, bring it back forward. And let's do one more. Let's stay in this downward dog for just a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and pedal out those feet, stretching a little bit more into the calves and the hamstrings. Good. One more. All right, now you're gonna keep your feet where they are, but you're gonna walk your hands back to the feet. We're gonna place the ball in between the ankles and make sure we're squeezing the ball there with the ankles so you can feel that in the inner thighs. So we're gonna let the head drop, just shake it side to side and then up and down, releasing any tension in the neck and the shoulders. And then we're gonna to start to roll up to a standing position. So we're gonna stack the spine, coming all the way up. Inhale, go ahead and lift those arms at the top. Exhale, we round it back down as we dive forward, pull the belly up as the crown of the head and the arms come down. Take an inhale here at the bottom. Exhale, stack back up. You can bend your knees a little if you need to. Good, inhale, arms lift right up overhead, arms by ears, exhale, bring it back forward. Good, around, feel that stretch through your spine and your hamstrings and your back. Last one, stack it back up. Good, coming all the way up now and lift. Good, arms are gonna come down by your sides. All right, so I am going to bring myself to the center of the mat. The ball will stay there in between the ankles. You can move if you need to as well or stay back where you were. All right, so we're gonna start with some narrow squats now. So legs are in a parallel position, knees and toes are tracking forward. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to sit into the heels as we start to sit back, arms come forward into that squat and then we exhale, use those glutes to sit back up. Good, sit it back and we lift. Driving with the glutes, sit it back, knees track forward and lift. And if you wanna go ahead and glance down at your toes, make sure you can still see your toes when you're squatting back. If you can't, that means your knees are too far forward to so sit back more into your heels. Good, let's do four more. Four, three, last two. Last one, sit back and hold here. Now, we're just gonna hold, pull the belly in, make sure you're not arching the spine too much and make sure you're not rounding it either. We've got that nice um, connection in the front and back body here. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Imagine squeezing your sitting bones towards each other, squeeze, engaging the glutes, and then we lift it all the way back up. All right, go ahead and keep your arms down by your sides. We're gonna do some calf raises here, keeping that ball there. So nice, tall, long spine. We're gonna go ahead and come onto the balls of the feet as we lift the heels, growing taller through the crown of the head, lower those heels back down. Good, crown of the head reaches up, big toes pressing down into your mat, and then we lower. Good, lifting the heels, lengthening up, and lower. Good, if balance is an issue, and go ahead and maybe bring your arms up to the sides if that helps, maybe hands onto the hips. Good, we're gonna do three more, nice and controlled. That lift and lower, three. Good, last two. And last one, lifting those heels, lengthening up. Good, and then lowering the heels all the way down. 
All right, so keep that ball there between the ankles. We're gonna turn the legs out into that Pilates V. So just a slight turn out here. We're gonna do a little Pilates V squat with a little external rotation. So we're gonna, again, track the knees in the direction of the toes, sit back into the heels, and then we lift it back up. Good, so this one will probably be not quite as deep as the parallel squat, and that's okay. I want you to focus on the turnout of the hips, the length through your spine, that connection to your core. Good, lower and lift. Good, lower and lift. You got it. Good, let's do five more. Four. Last three. Think inner thighs lifting pelvic floor into the abdominals. Good, last one. Go ahead and hold it here. Again, we're gonna hold this position. Check the knees, are they, are they in the direction of the toes? Good, we have five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lift it all the way back up. All right, bring your toes slightly closer together, still in that slight turnout. We're gonna do those calf raises here. So really press down into the big toes, as the heels lift, lift, lift. Good, and then we lower the heels down. Beautiful, again, lifting, think inner thighs, pelvic floor, abdominals, all the way up through the crown of the head. Good, this would be a spot to hold on to something, a wall if you need to, if you need that extra support. No shame in that. Go ahead and do four more. Four, nice and controlled. If you lose balance, that's okay, just come Try to come back into it. Three. Last two. And last one, lift the heels, lengthen up. Good, and then lower it all the way down. All right, we're gonna come back to a parallel stance. Go ahead and take an inhale, take the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, we're gonna round it forward. And then once we get down there, we're gonna grab the ball in between our hands and then round all the way back up to standing. All right, so go ahead and take that ball up overhead, keep it there. And we're gonna come into a wide stance. Toes are gonna start by facing forward and we're just gonna get a nice little side bend to find some length in the side body here before we do some more squats. So I want you to go ahead and lift out of the waistline and then we're gonna take that ball up and over to your right. So really try to keep the shoulders facing forward here. You should feel a stretch all through that left side. Good, and then bring it back to center. Over to the other side. So reaching up and over to your left. Good, shoulders down and back. Good, back up to center. And then back over to your right. Good, back to center. And left, reach, lengthen. Good, back to center. Let's do one more each side. Good, lift, last one, up and over, reach. Good, and back to center. All right, draw the arms down for a moment. We're gonna find a turn out, turned out position again, but this time with the legs wider. So, toes turned out, knees in the direction of the toes. Now we're gonna take those arms and we're gonna start with them up overhead. Now as we squat down into our wide squat, we're gonna go ahead and send the arms forward. So bring it down, it'll hold here for a moment, turn those knees out just a little bit more, use those external rotators, and then lift, arms come back up. Good, lower and squat, and then we lift. Good, lower. And lift, we're feeling those inner thighs a little bit more here, lower. Beautiful, lift, that's it. Keep those shoulders down. If you need to bend the elbows a little bit to do that, please feel free. Good, and lift, four more, four, three, last two. Last one, hold here, shoulders back and down, you got this, All right? Use those external rotators of your hips to bring those knees just a little bit wider so they're not coming forward. Good, we have five, four, three, two. 
one, go ahead and stand it all the way up and then heel toe those feet back together. Let's now come to the top of our mats. We're gonna stay here for a little bit and then add some lunge backs. So I want you to find a parallel stance with the legs, right? Legs right underneath the hips. And then I want you to find a shallow squat. So you're not gonna come down as deep as normal into our squats that we just did. And you're gonna be hinging forward at the hips. Now make sure here, when you're in this position, you are not dumping into your lower back, but your core is lifting in and up, right? And we're not tucking the tailbone under. So it's that neutral spine position. Core is nice and strong. All right, we're gonna take those arms up overhead with the ball, hold this position with the body as you start to Bring the ball into the right hand, circle the arms back behind you, grab the ball to the left hand, and then back up overhead. So we're gonna continue that motion, circling the arms. Try to find some rotation in the shoulders as you bring the arms up and down. Good, bring it back, grab, and back up. One more, back behind you, beautiful and lift. Now reverse the direction of the ball. Left hand and then right hand grabs it and then we bring it back up overhead. Really try to bring the ball more overhead instead of in front of you, just for more range in the shoulders. Good, and lift. Let's do two more in this direction and lift. You got it, last one around the back and then bring it back up. Good, now bring it back behind you, hold it there. Squeeze the ball as much as you can with the hands by drawing the shoulders back and down. If you can't grab the ball, that's okay. Just hold it in one hand and you're gonna start to lift and lower the arms. Little lifts, lift and pulse. Good, lift. Five, four, three. Keep that core pulling in, two, one, good stand yourself all the way back up. All right, now we're gonna start with some alternating lunges and adding a twist. So keep the ball in both hands to start. Go ahead and start by stepping back with the right leg into a lunge. Arms will come forward in front of you straight ahead. Good, make sure that knee is bent to 90. Grab the ball into your left hand, pull the core in. Take that ball back behind you as you open that arm to the left. You can look back towards that arm, bring it back to center, stand it all the way back up, bring that right leg in. Next time, left leg goes back, right knee stays bent. Take that ball into the right hand, we twist open, keep squeezing inner thighs towards each other, back to center, and we lift up. And again, right leg steps back. Try to find that deep lunge. Left arm comes back. Good, bring it back to center and lift. Good, again, left leg goes back. Twist it open, keep that core pulling in. Good, back to center and lift. And again, right leg, left arm twist. Good, back to center and up. Left leg back. Right arm twist open, good. Back to center and lift, good. Take that right leg back again into that twist. Okay, so left arm's gonna go back. I want you to hold it here a little bit longer. So really pull those shoulders back and down. Try to pull that left arm a little bit farther back, reaching that right arm forward. Now try to pull your right hip forward a little bit more, left hip back. Good, take one more deep breath here and then bring it back to center and bring it up. Same thing, other side, left leg goes back. Good, find that stability first. Now take that right arm back. Good, hold here, shoulders back and down. They squeeze together. So you can bring that right arm back a little further as you twist, looking over that right shoulder. Good, and bring it back to center. All right, this time I want you to step back with that right leg. This time, we're gonna drop that right knee all the way down to your mat. Now, we're gonna go ahead and drop the ball here for a moment and just come into a little lunge stretch. So go ahead and bring both hands onto the top of that left thigh and really lift up through your pelvis, through your core, and try to lengthen your lower back. I already feel like how that makes a difference in the stretch in that right hip flexor. Now lean forward just a few inches. 
but stay lifted in that upper body. Hands will always stay up onto that thigh. Deep breath in, good, exhale. Good, one more breath, deep breath in. And exhale, release. Awesome, we're gonna come into a quick hamstring stretch. So we're gonna straighten through that front leg, flex through your ankle, and try to keep a long spine here the entire time. Now, I want you to feel that you're pulling your left hip back in space, right hip forward. And this is where I want you to start to see if you can come a little bit farther down with that upper body with each exhale. Good, one more breath, inhale and exhale. All right, go ahead and start to bring that forward. We're gonna switch legs, so pull that left leg back. Our right leg is gonna come forward and we find that lunge stretch here. Again, try to stay lifted here in that upper body, lengthening through front body and back body, shoulders back and down. Good, then maybe come a little bit deeper into that stretch. Good, one more breath here. And then go ahead and shift the hips back, flex through that right ankle. And go ahead and start to take that upper body down with that nice long spine, pulling that right hip back. Good, one more breath here. Very nice, and then go ahead and come on up and then bring that right leg back next to your left. Now grab your ball and we're gonna lay ourselves down all the way onto our back. And once you get there, you're gonna take the ball. Well, actually, let's first start by placing the feet just a little bit farther away from the body. Knees are still bent, feet are on the floor. And we are gonna come into some abdominal curls. But what I want you to do is take the ball and you're gonna place it right at the top of the thighs with your fingertips on the ball. Now we're gonna move this into an abdominal curl. So as you lift up into your ab curl, you start to extend the arms and then you reach that ball up by the knees, lifting, lengthening, and then we lower it back down. You can bend the elbows a little bit when you come back. Good, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And I want you to give a little bit of pressure into that ball. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. By pressing into that ball, you're gonna to start to connect into the shoulders and into that upper body as well, which is gonna help you connect deeper into your core and your abdominals. Exhale, inhale. Good, three more, three. Last two. And last one, lift and lower. Now on your next one, I want you to do that one more time. Lift up, hold it here, and give me little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way back down. All right, you're gonna walk your feet a little closer, lift your hips, place the ball right underneath the pelvis, and make sure it is under the pelvis and not under the lower back. And then also make sure it's even side to side because we're gonna bring those legs up to a tabletop. So once you've got that ball there, go ahead and bring those legs up to a tabletop position. Really press those arms into the floor to find some stability and keep the legs at 90 degrees. Now we're gonna to start to do single leg toe taps. So right toe is gonna to tap and lift and then left toe taps and lift. And this whole time that pelvis stays nice and neutral, ribs and spine aren't moving, they're staying in that neutral position. So tap and lift, good, tap and up, good. So if you feel any wobbling, move a little bit slower and really feel that connection to your breath. So every time you're at, you exhale, pull belly button to spine to help you stabilize. Good, go ahead and bring it back to center. Now, 
Right arm's gonna come up towards the ceiling. Right leg is gonna stay right where it is. Left arm, sorry, right arm, left leg, reach out opposite directions. Go ahead and bring it back to center. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back in. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, in. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, back to center. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Right arm presses down into the floor. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Good, left arm, right leg, reach opposite directions. Exhale, back to center. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Good, reach. And in, two more. Last one. Good, both arms are gonna plant back down onto the floor, connect through your shoulders and back of your arms. Now inhale, you're gonna reach both toes towards the floor. If they don't make it, that's okay. Exhale, pull it back up. So you only wanna go so far with the legs that you can still keep that spine in neutral. If it starts to arch, you've gone too far with your legs and you wanna stop where you can still keep that spine in that neutral position. Good, ribs still pressing back and down. Inhale, tap. Exhale, belly button to spine as they lift. Good, three more, three. Last two. And last one, tap and lift. Very nice. Go ahead and place one foot down at a time. Feel those abdominals. Hopefully you feel those muscles working. Start to lift the hips. Take the ball out from underneath the pelvis and lower the hips down. Already feel how different your pelvis and your back of your sacrum feel after just having that ball under there for a little bit. Now go ahead now and place the ball in between the knees. You're gonna walk your feet a little bit closer to your um, glutes and we're gonna move into some bridging here. So we wanna find some connection here in the inner thighs. We wanna keep that ball squeezing. On your exhale, you wanna tuck that tailbone under and start to peel the spine up one bone at a time. Good, lift here. Make sure you're not lifting the hips, sorry, the ribs higher than the hips. Make sure the glutes are doing that work, not your ribs. And then start to lower it back down bone by bone until the pelvis releases, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck under, squeeze the ball, roll up, feel those inner thighs. Good, inhale here, and exhale lower. And release. Good, two more. Squeeze that ball, roll up. Roll up evenly in both sides, lengthen. Exhale down. And last one, roll up, lift, and hold here at the top. Now I want you to transfer your weight to your left leg, extend that right leg out, hold it here. We're gonna pulse that right leg in towards the left. Three, two, one. Good, bend that knee, lower it down, transfer the weight to the right leg. Extend the left, don't let the hips drop. We pulse that left leg into the right. Three, two, one. One, squeezing that ball, place the left foot down, even the hips off, and then lower the spine all the way back down. All right, let's go ahead and keep the ball between the knees. We're gonna draw the legs up to a tabletop position, and we're gonna draw the arms out to a T. So legs stay at 90 the whole time. We're gonna take those legs, we're gonna take an inhale. So we start to drop the legs over to the left. It's okay if the hips come off the mat, just keep the opposite shoulder blade reaching down. And then exhale as they come back to center. Good, inhale, opposite direction. Left shoulder blade stays pulling down to the mat. Exhale, use your, your belly, use your core and your breath, pull it to center. Inhale to your left. Exhale back to center. Good, inhale right. Exhale, back to center. All right, one more time each side, inhale to your left. Exhale, center. Last one, inhale right, keep squeezing that ball. Exhale, go ahead and bring it all the way back to center. All right, go ahead and take the ball out from in between the knees and step one foot down at a time.
Let's rock up to a seated position and we're gonna turn around just briefly to place that ball at the top end of our mats because we're gonna start to lay ourselves back over this ball. So we're gonna slowly bring ourselves back down and we're gonna nestle this ball right um, in, the sh in between the shoulder blades. And you're gonna feel, once we start to move, where a good spot will feel as you start to lift and lower into that abdominal curl again. So to go ahead and take your hands behind your head, feet are planted into the mat, pelvis is in that neutral position. And you wanna just start to go ahead and bring yourself up and over the ball and find a nice stretch here first. It should feel so good on your back and your front body as well. You can bring those elbows nice and wide. And then we're gonna go ahead and start to lift ourselves up, drop the shoulders, lift the elbows just a little bit and come into that ab curl. Inhale as we come back up and over that ball. Exhale, drop the ribs, pull the belly down, lift the chest. Okay, let's do just three more. Three. Last two. And last one, over and lift. All right, we're gonna keep ourselves lifted here. We're gonna move into our single leg stretch. So I want you to pull your right leg into your chest, reach your left leg long, and then we switch. So your upper body stays nice and stable. The ball is actually gonna help you stay in this lifted position. Good, reach and switch. Good, lengthen and reach. Let's do three more sets, three, Three, good, two, two, one, and one. Good, go ahead and pull the knees into your chest. You can bring your forehead towards your knees. And now we're gonna move into double leg stretch. So both hands on top of the shins, you're in this nice tight ball. Then we inhale, shoot arms and legs apart. Don't come over, up and over the ball. Keep your chest and yourself lifted into that ab curl. Exhale, circle the arms around, bend the knees, come in. Good, inhale, lengthen, reach it out. Exhale, pull it in. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Three more, three. Good, arms and legs reach, 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 lengthen apart, two. Last one, reach. Good, bring it all the way back in. Again, give yourself a nice hug. Place the feet down for a moment and hands behind the head. Go ahead and come up and over that ball. All right, so we're gonna lift back up here and we're gonna move into our hundreds. So go ahead and lift back up into your abdominal curl. Go ahead and start to bring the legs into the tabletop. Arms are gonna come down by your sides. Legs can stay here if you'd like more of a challenge. Reach those legs out nice and long. And we start to pump as we inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Good, pull the ribs down, belly button down. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep reaching those arms in that opposite direction away from you. Good, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more sets. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bend your knees in. Place one foot down at a time. Take your hands back behind your head and bring yourself over your ball. All right, we're gonna lift up into an oblique twist now. So keep your feet grounded. Take your inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna lift up, twist upper body to the left. And then we lower back down over that ball. Good, exhale, twist to your right. Good, inhale as you come over. Pelvis and legs stay nice and steady, so it's just that upper body rotation. Good, exhale, lift and twist. Inhale, over. Good, lift and twist. And over. So we're getting into those obliques. We only have one more set. Exhale, twist. Over, last one. Good, and bring it over. All right, go ahead and come back up, bring the knees into the chest, and we're gonna go ahead and rock ourselves up to a seated position. All right, so we're gonna take that ball, we're gonna place it back between the knees. 
in seated. So we're gonna work on our half rollbacks here. So <clears throat> ball stays squeezing with those inner thighs. Arms are forward. We're finding that nice tall spine here. Good, take that deep breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna to start to roll behind the sitting bones, scoop the belly, pull the belly button in and back into your C curve. Good, hold it halfway back. And then exhale, bring yourself back up and forward. Inhale here, exhale, scoop around and bring it back. Good, back up to seated, inhale, lift. Exhale, if you need help, bring your hands behind your thighs as a little bit of support here and you can use those arms a little bit to roll yourselves up and back. Good, exhale, otherwise send those arms forward for more of a challenge. Good, and lift. Let's find two more, exhale. Good, inhale, lift. Last one, exhale. Hold it here. Good, just deep breath in. Exhale, see if you can deepen that belly a little bit more and hold. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, this time bring yourself all the way back up. All right, this time scoot a little bit more forward to the front edge of your mat. Make sure all animals like mine are back behind you enough that you don't roll onto them. And we're gonna take the ball now and we're gonna place it in between the shins and the back of the thighs. Okay, and what, I'm sorry, in between the calves and the back of the thighs. And we're gonna move into our rolling like a ball. So I want you to start to lift yourself up into that nice, nice tight ball shape, shoulders back and down, forehead to knees. Now we're gonna start to rock back. On your rock back, you're gonna inhale back, exhale, lift up, balance, and hold at the top. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale back, exhale, lift. That ball there helps keep that Body into a nice tight shape so you don't let your legs go back behind you. Good, inhale back. Exhale, roll up and lift. Good, inhale. Exhale. Good, four more. Last three. Balance at the top, last two. Last one, inhale. Exhale, hold, hold, hold this position. Grab the ball, keep the feet lifted if you can. Send the arms forward, lift the legs up. You can either keep the legs slightly bent or move into teaser, extending the legs. Keep reaching those arms. Good, you have three, two, one, and then send the legs all the way down. Okay, this time I want you to extend the hips back a little bit more and extend the legs forward. And they are about mat distance apart. So we're moving into a spine stretch with the ball here. So the ball is gonna roll as we bring our upper body forward. So sit up nice and tall and go ahead and reach your fingertips right on top of the ball. Even giving a little pressure is nice and it helps you grow a little bit taller through your spine. Bend your knees if you need to to find that tall lift. Now on your inhale, you're gonna bring chin to chest and then start to roll this, the ball forward as the upper body and the spine come forward. Good, reach, reach, reach. Then on your exhale, you start to stack the spine back up until the head comes over the pelvis, pelvis is over ribs. Good, chin to chest, we do that again. We peel the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Your pelvis stays pulling back belly stays pulling back, and then we roll it back up to seated. So you wanna imagine that you also have a large beach ball right in front of your belly button, and you're trying to round forward without the belly touching that beach ball. So you really need to lift up and over at the same time. Let's do three more. Good, reach. Good, stack and lift. Last two. Good, all the way up. Lengthen at the top. And last one, chin to chest. We reach it forward, lengthen, and then bring it all the way back up to seated. Shoulders are down. All right, go ahead and set the ball off to the side and bring those legs all the way together. 
Now go ahead and turn and face uh, the side and you're gonna come on to your forearm here. And we're gonna take that ball and we're gonna place it right underneath the rib cage. Now, it might be tempting once you do that to let yourself sink down into the ball. That's actually the opposite of what I want you to do. So I really want you to press yourself up in a way so that you're keeping that ball as inflated as possible. So that ball is actually there to remind you not to sink down, but to really stay lifted up and out of that shoulder, okay? And you wanna think of your ribs lifting off of the ball, not sinking into it for this first part. So with that, I want you to keep your bottom leg bent and you're gonna go ahead and lift that top leg up nice and long and reach it forward. We're gonna to start to do leg lifts here. So once you start to move that leg, it's gonna be harder not to sink down into that ball, but that is your goal, good. So your spine is pretty much up at a diagonal. Good, we're feeling that outer hip and glute here. Let's do five, four. We're not gonna be too, doing too many of a sideline leg series. So just a few different exercises. Good, right? let it rest for just a moment. Now, re-engage, lift off that ball, lift that leg up, and we're gonna do small circles here. Good, little circles, toes and knee facing forward. Good, four, three, two, and one. And then we reverse it, that's it. Good, keep lifting up and out of that shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, now hardest ones are over. Now I want you to bend your knees, have your feet staying together, and we're gonna lift and lower that bottom knee. So finding that clamming here. So top hip stays nice and stacked over that bottom one. Good, that's it. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four more. Four, three, good, two, and one. All right, now for this, we're gonna keep both knees bent. I'm gonna scoot myself down a little bit. And this time I do want you coming up and over your ball. Okay, so bottom arm is gonna be long along the floor and your top fingers are gonna just be pressing into your mat. So now you've got a nice opening, more of an opening into the top rib cage. Now, as you start to lift your upper body up, you're gonna Imagine that you're pressing the ball away with your bottom ribs as you come into a little side crunch that bottom arm might pull towards you a little bit and then we lower it back down over that ball. Exhale, lift and crunch. Good, and inhale back over. Good, exhale, lift. Good, inhale over. You'll feel that in that top side waistline. Lift and lower. Good, four more, four. Three, that's it. Last two. And last one, lift and hold. Extend that top leg out. Stay lifted into that side. And then we start to lift and lower that bottom leg again for eight, seven, six, five, four. Good, still feeling those obliques. Three, two, and one. All right, bend the top knee, place it over. This time I want you to let your top arm come up and overhead. Maybe grab it with that bottom hand and then reach, feel that nice opening in that top side. One more breath here, expanding top ribs towards the ceiling. Good, and release. All right, press that hand into the mat. Bring yourself all the way up and we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, so start on that forearm, shoulder right over that elbow. And again, lifting up and off of that ball. All right, that is the key, not sinking. All right, so now toes, knee facing forward. We're gonna go ahead and start to lift and lower this top leg. Hand can be on the hip or you can have the hand just gently touching the floor. Good, lift, that's it. I know this is hard, a lot harder than our side lying legs when we're laying all the way down onto the mat, but that's the point. We're staying nice and strong in that upper body. Three, two, and one. Good, let it rest for just a moment. Readjust that upper body if you need to. And then we're gonna start to lift that top leg, hold it, and we do small circles forward. Good, 
Yes. You can see these aren't that big. You won't be able to lift your leg too high. Three, two, one, and then reverse. Good, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend both knees, top leg stacked on top of the bottom. And then we find those clams, lifting and lowering. Good, again, readjust. Pull your ribs back if you feel them flaring forward. Good, lift and lower, lift. Good, five more. Four, top hip stays stacked. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring those knees together. All right, now we're gonna come over that ball. Top arm is gonna come down, bottom fingers. See right there on your mat. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna start to lift just that upper body up. Lift it, good, and lower. Good, feel like you're trying to press the ball away with the bottom ribs as you lift, and then you cascade back over as you lower. We lift and lower, and all that work is coming here from this top obliques, that top waistline. Good, lower. Three more, three. Last two, that's it. Good, last one, lift it up, hold it. This time extend that leg again. Stay lifted here into that little side bend and then lift and lower that top leg. Feeling those obliques work even more. This is a different position than we had on our forearms so we really have to use those top obliques to stay lifted. Four, three, that's it, two, and one, bend the knees, lower it over. This time, take that top arm up overhead, grab that bottom wrist, find that yummy stretch. Breathe into those top ribs, deep breath in. And exhale, release. Good, one more breath, inhale. Exhale. All right, go ahead and press yourself up now. And you're gonna turn right over onto your belly. Now this ball is gonna go right at your sternum. So the bigger the ball is, the harder or the more challenging this is gonna to be to get it in a position that feels comfortable. But really do your best here because this ball is gonna really help us come into our extension. So go ahead and come up and over your ball now. So I want you to find your forehead onto the mat if you can, hands are underneath the shoulders. Shoulders are down and back. So you're in this kind of rounded position up and over your ball. Now pull your elbows towards your sides and then start to inhale as you start to lift up. That upper body's gonna lift. Now this time you're gonna imagine that you're pressing that ball forward with the rib cage as you lengthen up. Now pull that belly in towards your spine and then lower it back down. Good, do that again. Shoulders down and back. Heartless is gonna help us come into this extended position just a little bit easier because we have that ball there to help us move. Good, exhale, lift. Good, inhale, lower. Good, exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Pull that core in, glutes engaged. We lift and lower. Good, one more. Lift, lengthen. This time I want you to hold it here for an extra breath. So inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, pull belly to spine, stay lifted. <sighs> Neck is in line with your spine, so not jamming up towards the ceiling. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, lowering it all the way down. All right, I want you to take your fingertips up towards the outside of your mat. Right, and you're gonna stay on your fingertips there. And then you're gonna lift back up into your swan. And I want you to, you're in a little bit of a longer arm here. So shoulders are still back and down. Now I want you to start to bend your right elbow as you bring your right shoulder towards the mat and you start to dip down and then you lift back up, switch to the other side, left shoulder blade comes down and then we lift. So start to rotate and twist as you bring each shoulder down. Good, twist and lift. Let's do one more each side. Last one, and lift. All right, now come onto your forearms, 
And this here is where we want to use that ball again to not sink into, but to stay lifted off of. So we're going to do our single leg kick. So pull your legs together. And I want you to, again, imagine that you're trying to lift your ribs and your belly off the ball. Shoulders need to stay down though. All right, now we're gonna flex the single leg kicks, flex the left foot, kick that foot towards your heel, kick, kick, point and reach away. Other foot, kick, kick, and reach. So feeling that hamstring, pulling that leg in towards you. Good, kick, kick, reach, kick, kick, and reach. Good, and reach. Again, stay lifted up that ball. Not sinking down. Two more sets each side. Last set. Beautiful. All right, now this time I do want you to remove the ball, but you might wanna sit up just for a moment to place it between the ankles. All right, and once you got that there, you're gonna lay back down onto your belly. This is for our single leg kick. So turn one side of your head to the mat. Go ahead and grab your hands behind your back. Pull the belly in, engage the glutes. And we're gonna kick those legs in for three, two, one. And then we're gonna lift, reach the arms and the legs long, lengthen out, lower it down, kick again. Three, two, one. Lift, reach, lengthen, lower other side, kick in. Three, two, one. Good, lengthen, lift. Reaching those arms back, good, lower down, belly in. Three, two, one. Good, lift, extend, reach a little higher. Good, lower one more each side. Three, two, one. Good, left, lengthen, and lower last one. Three, two, one. Good, reach it away and lower down. All right, keep the ball there between the ankles. This time though, bend the knees, widen the knees a little bit. Forehead is on your hands, which is in making a nice pillow underneath your forehead. Now, really pull the belly in, keep the knees bent, and you're gonna press those legs up towards the ceiling with bent knees. This is all glutes and hamstrings here. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. So you're not bending those knees in any more. They're staying at a 90 toes, pointing up towards the ceiling, heels and ankles squeezing that ball. Good, let's do five, four, three, two, last one. All right, go ahead and let that ball drop and go. You can even move it off to the side. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself back into a child's pose. Good, hips to heels, forehead down. Breathe into that back body, breathe into that lower back. That back was just doing a lot of work. So just really stretch it out, use that breath. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, one more, inhale, deep breath in. And exhale, release. Go ahead and sit onto those heels, stack the spine all the way back up. Good, once you get there, maybe bring the knees together. Roll the shoulders back and down. Maybe clasp your hands behind you. And just open up just one more time into the chest and the shoulders. Really try to keep that belly pulling in. And then go ahead and release. All right, let's go ahead and swing those legs around. We're gonna start to wind it down here. So send those legs forward. And we're just gonna find a forward fold. So do what you can to sit up nice and tall here and then start to walk those hands down, grabbing onto shins or ankles or maybe even feet if you can. And just find this nice release. You can start to drop the head and round the back here as you bring yourself forward. Starting to slow down that breathing. Feeling how the body feels now? How are you feeling after that nice small ball workout? Hopefully you're feeling amazing. 
Go ahead and start to bring yourself all the way back up to seated. And then eventually you're gonna roll yourself all the way onto your back. You're gonna get a nice supine twist. So extend that left leg fully out, pull the right leg into the chest, and then take that right leg across to the left and look over that right shoulder. And I feel that nice stretch into that lower back, into that torso. Good, one more breath here. Go ahead and bring it back to center. I really want you to give that leg a nice tight pull in towards the chest. You're expanding through that glute and that lower back. And then extend that one to the floor. Bring that left leg in now. We're gonna do the same thing other side. And then go ahead and take that leg across. Look over that left shoulder now. And just give me a couple inhales and exhales, maybe three here. Good, as you bring that leg back into center again, pull it in nice and tight into the chest. And then go ahead, extend both legs. Arms are gonna reach back behind you. And maybe if it feels okay, you can lift the heart and the chest off the mat and just find this nice full body stretch. Now walk your feet over to the left side of your mat and your upper body over to the left side of your mat as well. And now you're in this banana stretch. You're expanding into that right side just a little bit more. Good, walk yourself back through center, bring it over to the other side. Legs to the right, upper body to the right. Deep breath into that left side. Good, one more breath. Good, bring it all the way back into center, bring the knees into the chest, and then rock yourself up to a seated position. All right, go ahead and start to face forward now, finding a nice comfortable seat wherever it feels good for you. I'm gonna find cross-legged here, and I just want you to do some shoulder rolls, bringing those shoulders forward, up and back. Good. Last one. All right, now hold the shoulders back and down, drop chin to chest. Good, keep it there. Start to bring left ear towards left shoulder. Good, bring the chin back down through center, right ear to right shoulder. Good, back down into center. And then lift that head all the way up. And you guys are done. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love using this little small ball. Um, so versatile, so many wonderful little things that we can do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Um, thank you guys as always for being here on the mat today and for moving your body with me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.